All right, and now we present to you A Midsummer Night's Dream. Tom Stout, the, the Tinker. 
Tom's Tom Snout, you must play Pyramus's father. Myself, Thisbe's father. Snug the joiner, you the lion's part, and I hope <coughs> we have a play fit. Have you a lion's part? Have a lion's part written for you if you give it me. For I am slow as <laughs> For you may do an extempore, for it is nothing but roaring. Let me play the lion too. I'll roar that I'll do any man's heart good to hear me. I'll roar that I'll let I will make the duke say, "Let him roar again. Let him roar again. Roar!" roar! <laughs> and you should do it too terribly. That you frighten the duchess and the ladies that they would shriek, and that were enough to hang us all. I grant you, friends, if you should fright the ladies out of their wits, they'd have no more discretion but to hang us. But I will aggravate my voice that I will roar you. As gently as any sucking dove, I will roar you and twear any nightingale. You can play no part for Pyramus, for Pyramus is a sweet-faced man, a proper man, as one shall see in a summer's day, a most gentlemanlike man. Therefore, you need to play Pyramus. <laughs> well, I will undertake it. In the meantime, I'll draw a bill of property such as our play wants. I pray you fail me not. We will meet, and there may we rehearse most obscenely and courageously. Take pains, be perfect. Adieu, at the Duke, so we meet. Enough, hold a cut bowstrings. <coughs> at the Duke's oak, they plan to meet, so there I'll fly on nibble feet. To watch the play which they intend, and maybe robbing Hanuman. <coughs> as we do before the Duke and Duchess on his wedding night. Peter Quince, what sayest thou, bully bottom? There are some things of this comedy that will never peace. First, Pyramus must best draw a sword to kill himself, which the ladies cannot abide. <laughs> now answer you that. By our lake and parlous fear. I believe we must save the Kelly now when all is done. Not a whit. I have advice that will make all well. Grab your prologue and let the prologue seem to say, we will do no harm with our swords, and that Pyramus is not killed, indeed. Mm -hmm. And for the more better assurance, tell them that I, Pyramus, am not Pyramus, but bottom believer. This will put them out of fear. Will not the ladies be feared of the lion? I fear it, I promise you. <laughs> Masters, you ought to consider to bring in... God shield us! A lion among, a lion among ladies is a most dreadful thing, for there is no more fearful thou than your lion living, and you ought to look to it. Therefore, no one frog was found to a lion. Nay, you must name his name, and half his face must be seen through the lion's neck, and he himself must speak through saying thus, or to the same effect, ladies, or fair ladies, I would wish you, or I would entreat you, or I would request you not to fear, not to tremble, my life for yours. If you think I can hither as a lion, it were pity on my life. No, I am no such thing. I am a, I am a man, as other men are. And there, indeed, let him name his name, and tell them plainly, he is Snug the Joiner. Well, that shall be so, but there is two hard things. That is, to bring a moon, that is, to, to bring moonlight in the chamber for Pyramus and Thisbe meet by moonlight. Doth the moon shine easily. The nightly player play. A calendar, a calendar. Look in the almanac. Find out moonshine. Find out moonshine. <coughs> yes, it does shine the nightly player play. Why then may you leave your casement at the great chamber window where we play open and the moon may shine in at the casement. Aye, or else one must come in with a bush of thorns and a lantern to represent person of moonshine. And there's another thing. You must bring a wall in the chamber. 
For the story did say that Pyramus and Thisbe did talk through the chink of the wall. You can never bring the wall. Let's say you about him. Some man or other must present wall, and let him have some posture about him to signify wall. And let him hold his fingers thus. And through the cranny shall Pyramus and Thisbe whisper. That is then all is well. Come sit down, every mother's son, and rehearse your part. Pyramus, you begin. Thisbe, the flowers of odious savor sweet. Odors! What have been home swungs? Have we swaggering here? I'll a play toward. I'll be an auditor and actor too, perhaps if I see cause. Speak, Pyramus. This be stand for. This be the flowers of odious savor sweet. Odors. Odors, savor sweet. So hath thy breath, my dearest this be dear. But hark a voice. Stay thou but here a while, and by and by to thee I will appear. Stranger Pyramus than ever played here. Must I speak now? Mary must you. Your cue is passed, and you shall understand that your part is cues in all. Most radiant pyramids, most lily white to feel of color like the red rose, a triumphant bride, most frisky juvenile, and most lovely dew. Pyramus, as trish, truth, horse, that yet would never tire, I'll meet you, pyramids, at Minnie's tomb. And it's stall. If I fear this be, I will only die. Oh, monsters! Oh, strange! We are haunted! Pray, masters! Fly, masters! Help! Why do they run? This is an every of them to make me appear. This is to make a mule of me. Fright me if they could. But I will not stir from this place. I will walk up and down here and will sing. Let they hear. I am not afraid. The whistle cock so black of you is orange, swainy bill. The whistle with is not so true. Ran with little crow. Sleep, gentle beast, sleep. Alas, what mischief have I done? I'll fix it thus and then be gone. Awake, awake, oh foolish one. When my cue comes, call me, and I will answer. My next is most fair pyramus. Hi ho, Peter Quince. Flute the bellows mender? Send out the tinker? Starlin? Stolen hence and left me asleep. I have had a rare vision. I have had a dream past the wood of men. To say what dream it was, man is but a mule. If he go to expand this dream, I will get Peter Quince to wear a ballad of this dream, and it shall be called Bottom Stream. And I will sing it in the latter end before the Duke. Yes, 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 
have what rebels are at hand. Is there no plan to ease the anguish of a torturing hour? Call Phil Strait. Here, mighty thesis. Say, what abridgments do we have for this evening? There is a brief how many sports are ripe. Make choice which your highness will see first. The bowels of the center is to be sung by the Athenian to his heart. Well, none of that. There's a tedious brief of young power stands love to be very tired of mirth. Mary Ann turned to cold peace and brief. That is hot ice and strange wonder and snow. How do we find the comfort of this discord? A plate there is, a plate there is my lord. By ten words, it's, it is too short. And we will hear it. No, my lord, it is not for you. I have heard it over, and there is nothing, nothing in the world. I will hear that play for never anything can be amiss with simpleness and duty tender. Go bring them in. You wonder at the show, but wonder on till truth makes all things plain. This man has pyramids, as you would know. The studious lady, Thisbe, is certain. This man with lime and breath cast death, death present. Well, the, uh, that by a wall which did these lovers sunder. And through the wall's chink, poor souls their content to whisper. Which no man wondered, this man with lantern, dog, and bush of thorn presenteth moonshine. For if you will know, by moonshine did these lovers think, no scorn to meet at Ninistone, where there, there to woo, to meet at this grisly beast which lion brought, this lion height by name. The truth is becoming first by night, did here away rather did a fright and as they she fled her mantle did she fall which lion vile with bloody mouth did stay anon comes pyramus sweet youth and tall hit and finds his trusty thisbe's mantle slain where out with blade this bloody blameful blade he bravely broached his boiling bloody breast and this be tearing his mulberry shade, his dagger drew and died. For all the rest, let lion, moonshine, wall, and lovers twain at large discourage while here they do remain. To blink with mine eye. Thanks, courteous ball. Jove shield thee well for this. But what see I? No thisbe do I see. Curse be thy stones for thus deceiving me. The wall we think to sense bull should curse again. No, in truth, sir, he should not. Deceiving me is thisbe's cue. She is to enter, and I am to spy her through the wall. You shall see it, for fall cut as I told you. Yonder she comes. I see a voice, now will I to the chink, to spy, and I can hear my fizz, fizzy face, 
Tisby. My love that work, my love, I think. Sing us what thou wilt. I am thy lover's grace. Oh, kiss me through the whole of this vile wall. I kiss the love's hole and not your lips at all. Wilt thou at Ninny's tomb? Meet me straightway. Ninny's tomb! I like to death, I come to the Thus have I walked, my part is heard so, and being done, does fly away, don't go. Now, as the main news between the two neighbors, this is the silliest stuff that ever I heard. Here comes in two noble beast, a man and a lion. All I have to say is the lamp from upper sense the moon. I myself the man in the moon. This thorn bush my thorn bush this dog and dog. This is old Minnie's tomb. Where's my love? <laughs> A very gentle beast and a good conscience. Well roared, lion. Well run, Disby. Well shone, moon. Sure, the moon shines with a good grace. Let us listen to the moon. Well mouse lion. Well mouse lion. And then came Pyramus. Sweet moon, I thank thee for thy sunny beams. I thank thee, moon, for shining now so bright. For by thy gracious golden glittering gleams, I trust to take of truest Thisbe's sight. But stay, O spite, but mark for night, what dreadful dull is here. I, eyes do you see, how can it be, O dainty duck, O dear? <coughs> thy mantle good, what stained with blood, approach ye furies fell. This passion to death, a dear friend, would go near to make a man sad. This shrew my heart, but I pity the man. Wherefore, nature didst thou lion's frame, since lion vile hath here to flower. De devour! Devoured, my dear, who is, no, no, who was the fairest stain that lived, that loved, that liked, that looked with cheer. Come, tears con confound, out sword and wound, that pap of Pyramus, that left pap. Your heart does hop. Thus I, dead I, thus, 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 now am I dead, now am I fled, my soul is in the sky, moon take thy flight, time to lose thy light. Now die, 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 okay! <laughs>
but this and dull is mended. That you have but slimmered here, while these visions did appear. And this beacon idle theme, no more yelling but a dream. So good night unto all. Give me your hands if we be friends, and Robin shall us store amends.